Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. A very famous lyric from the great Frank Sinatra. However, I think we need to update the lyrics to something more modern though. <clears throat> Fly me into space and let me kill other astronauts. Yes, Sersky, today we're talking about Boundary, a tactical first person shooter that takes place in space? Elon Musk never thought of this shit, did he? Before we start, if you enjoy anything from today's video, consider subbing to the channel. Okay, let's continue. Y'all remember that mission from COD Ghost, where you're at the International Space Station or some shit, and you're gunning down cosmonauts? Maybe one of COD's best missions in one of their worst games? Well, take that mission and make it better. This game's been in and out of a demo state for a year or so, but each demo they release is significantly better than the last. I played the previous demo before this channel was ever made, but comparing it to the current one, oh my god. This demo is so much better. The common trend I'm seeing is that they tend to release the demo of this game around major events like the Steam Festival and Steam Next Fest. And I'm going to go on record to say that this is a very smart move of them to do. It always allows them more time to work on the core mechanics of the game, get everything tidied up, and then only worry about receiving feedback and maintaining servers. Speaking of which, things are feeling smoother, more responsive, and the list keeps going. The only thing I hate is that the toggle aim is set by default. Toggle aim is a cardinal sin. I don't care what anyone says. It shouldn't be a thing, it shouldn't be allowed, get rid of it. To say that the game is perfect is pretty ridiculous because the main thing I'm having issues with currently is the occasional stutter, which in a multiplayer setting is not what you want. But in time, I believe that it'll get fixed. Also, trying to connect in a party, I would have a better time figuring out how to fly a plane blindfolded. And one more thing, the third person camera is really glitchy. And I do mean really glitchy. Nothing game breaking though. Just really inconvenient. When it comes to the game though, you've got four game modes. Domination, Team Deathmatch, Purge, and Invasion. Domination is your normal domination mode. TDM is, well, TDM. Purge is a one life game mode that feels very fun and intense to play at times. Invasion is the longest game mode that I've experienced so far with one team trying to cap as many points as possible and the other team trying to score more points than the other team. Just think of Breakpoint from Battlefield and you'll get the gist of it. Now the gunplay feels really, really damn good. It feels arcadey yet tactical. It's weird to describe, but it's super fun to play. If you get motion sickness easily though, this game might be a bit rough for you. Landing a shot in this game feels like meeting one of those hot locals from your area the websites keep telling you about, and not Steve, the local shadow whisperer from outside the 7-Eleven. It feels so damn rewarding to land a kill, especially a helmet shot. Nothing better than sniping someone and seeing them barrel into the infinite abyss that is space. I'm gonna get better at these damn snipers one day, dude. I'm just- I'm going to. Sniping in this game is just way too fun. Bravo. Oh, hey. <laughs> there we go. Oh, hello. Oh! Oh my god, dude, that went right past my fucking head. There we go. The minimap is unique in its own special way because it has this aura around your icon that shows how much noise you're making depending on what you're doing. And this is something that we see in any sort of survival game, but rarely in this aspect in a tactical first person shooter. Now, good news for all of you who are interested and have a PC. The demo is currently out on Steam until the 13th. Download it, go play it. Hopefully I'll see you there, and I'll link it in the description and the pinned comment down below. Unfortunately for everyone else, you won't get to play the demo, however, the game is expected to release this year in 2023 on PC and console. I haven't been able to find much, but in case they haven't mentioned it, I think cross-platform play would be amazing with this title. People like to go up in arms about PC playing with console, but that's why aim assist is a thing. We have the better performance, y'all have the easier time aiming. I think it's a fair trade. Fight me if you disagree. I would really love to see how this performs on the PlayStation 5 and the Series X, but I have heard they're trying to make this also for the PS4 and the Xbox One. I don't know how that's going to turn out, 
but hopefully in their favor. Anyways, let me know down below what y'all think. Is this a game you'll be having on your radar? Is this a game you're already playing? Let me know. And while you're at it, go ahead and launch that like button into space and land on that sub button so YouTube can show the world my content. I seriously want to thank you all so much for watching the content. This channel has been doing amazing lately, even though it's a month or two old. Let's get to 100 subs soon so we can keep hitting these milestones and hopefully hit 1,000 subs by the end of the year. This is Sir Blackout signing off and heading into space. Ayo, hey, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, I'll see you bastards on the moon. <laughs> Later.